Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On this channel, we take a look at police interaction videos and First Amendment audits. Today's video comes to you from the channel for public safety, and in this video, he's joined by official misconduct. If you haven't yet, be sure to go subscribe to both of their channels and let them know I sent you over. In this video, they find themselves at the Jeffersonville Police Department in Indiana. They're here because on March 9, 2023, five officers of the Jeffersonville Police Department responded to a call of a man walking around the complex with a gun. That man was Robert Atkins a military veteran who served in Afghanistan. Atkins requested a mental health evaluation the day before this incident had occurred. He was suffering from PTSD. When police arrived, Atkins allegedly fired rounds into the air and pointed his weapon at the police. Three of the five officers decided to shoot, and they allegedly tried to perform life-saving measures afterwards, but it was too late. Atkins unfortunately succumbed to his injuries. This brings us back to for public safety and official misconduct. You see, there's a procedure that this police department should have followed regarding this incident that involves putting this man in a 72-hour hold when he requested his mental health evaluation, depending on the severity of his mental well-being. Watch how this department reacts to somebody trying to inform them of this procedure while documenting this interaction. Right there, on this. Yeah. I know that you come for legal, okay? That's our code of conduct. You cannot record our building. Can we that's just, um, code of conduct, yeah, there's us. no, that's not for us. Thank you. There's no statute. Don't, don't deny us service. Sir, can we speak with you, please? Would you mind speaking with us, please? A smart design is not a statute. It's not been passed through the council. Like that's we went to the council meeting. That's not been passed through the council. It's not been passed through our... As far as the rest, what do you want me for today? Well, she was wanting to talk to Woodard, and I want to talk to a supervisor. Okay, well, you're speaking to a supervisor. Woodard, you won't be able to talk to. She's not in at the moment. Okay. 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 I would like to speak with the supervisor about a situation that I think can be resolved with some of the intel that I might be able to provide. I would like to assist your agency okay. in knowledge for the mental health procedures. Okay. Well, first off, I'm going to give this one to you. That was for you, Chris. And what is that? That is going to be the same thing that you've been given um, that's up there on the door. Those are both for you all. What is this? Um, that's for our code of conduct that I'm handing you all over. In regards to code of conduct? Knowledge. So you think you're going to violate my rights with a piece no, of paper? I'm just you the form, sir, and you know. Well, who's this from? You can open up the same one that's out on the door. Oh, so it's just a printout of a fake sign? No, it's not a fake sign. It's our code of conduct for our public building. No, the sign's real, but it doesn't have a statute. It wasn't passed through our representatives. We went to the city council to ensure that we're right, and we are. And a violation of that is a violation of the First Amendment. And don't do that, because I'll sue you again. And stop overloading us with rights violations. You guys can do better than this. You're giving me garbage. Okay. So and else? and it's not you shouldn't even be using my last name like that. What else do you need? That's I would like to help you guys in learning more about Clark County's mental health process. Okay. Would you like to learn so that you don't have any more veterans? Okay. Do you want to learn? Okay. Are we here to discuss the case the other day? No, I'm willing to help you understand mental health procedures that you don't know anything about and I've verified that through other officers. You don't want to be able to learn more about the mental health procedures that is available to your officers? Send them on out. Let's talk. You said this came from your legal? No, this that got printed off. Well, sent over from legal, yes, put it into our building. And I put that in. What are you doing? Hey, what's up, Mr. Cavanaugh? Yes, sir. You have your hammer's paper, too, as well. All right. Yeah, so we, uh, we're not going to agree with this because obviously. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I've never met you, Mr. Mr. Lynch, I have met you, but yeah. only in email. Chief Kenny Cavanaugh. Tiffany. That's yep. Tiffany. Yeah, you all haven't met. Have not met. So you have the policy from the city of Jeffersonville there in your hand. Yeah, let's talk more about something else, though. Okay. 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 So you got to step outside. the. It's not absolute form. Let's go. got to step yeah. right outside here. This is the lobby, Kenny. Yes, sir. Why do you keep doing this, man? Let's go. Where's the statute on that? Don't I do need this. for you to step out. Of course. Kenny, you're kicking me out of the public lobby. No, sir. Of not my at all. police we'll station. The policy right? of the city of Jeffersonville. My police station. Absolutely. So I'm coming here to help you. Do you care about that? Do we have the call number opened up? Do we have the call opened up? Yeah. All right. What's that call number? So you're trying to yeah, force me? Yeah. Put it on a, put it on a post-it building. note. I'm going to give him a copy of it. What's your name, but? Right here. Just give me a. Like, how do you spell right here? Give me that call number. How do you spell right here? McBoy, no, for the, Thank you, Mr. McBoy. I appreciate that. Let's be respectful. 
I would expect that to go both ways. So I'm done. Yep. See what we, whenever we ask for someone. Are you, are you say, finished with your business here? Well, I'm no, because now the finished? chief is here and I'd love to talk to him so about this, this situation. Come on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. You can tell me whatever you do want. Do not touch me and I'm I am this is public. to you. This is public. Right. This is a What do you expect to change? There. What I'm going to tell you is what we do is we don't just advocate for everyone's rights, but we specifically advocate for people's rights that have disabilities who may not be able to read whenever they point and say right here. So that's the reason why we like for you to vocalize I, I what you I believe I gave you the name. I dealt with that. Okay, copy well, you you let me help you. Yeah, let's go. Help right me. outside the other door. Help, help me. me. Don't touch me, Kenny. Step out. Hey, get your go. hand off me, man. Hey, go. Step no, out. No, uh, Come look, on. Step out. Kenny, get your fucking hand off me. No, 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 no. You just got step yourself out. a whole nother lawsuit. Yeah. No, it's fine. Look, let's dude, go. I'm here to help you. Absolutely. I'm here to help you. And we understand that. Thank you. You can't kick yes, me out of there, dude. Yes, we can. Where's the statue? I don't have to tell you the statue. We always do everything he says. Why would you violate my rights? Why would you do that? Like Don't you want to be a good cop? Me? Yes. Oh, you're not McVoy. You're Lynch. Mr. Thank Lynch, you. Thank you. Right. if Kenny out. doesn't know the law, the, so you have the does that mean you can't know the law? Okay. Kenny, I'm not talking to you anymore. Uh, if, you if, if he doesn't know the law, should that mean you don't know the law? We want What's the First right? Amendment to the Constitution of the United States? It's got to What is it? So what you need to do is this protected? Is this protected? Giving you and then follow you through read, appropriately. Read the information, okay. sir. No, I haven't. I have read the information. I'm not going to read it. You can keep it. No, you need to have that. No, because I've read my First Amendment, Kenny. That's, that is specifically. Are you pissed because I called you out, man? I'm trying to help no. you. No, I think you. Yeah. I don't know if we need your help, but I'll yes, you do. You do. Did I? Is your mom schizophrenic? Have you ever had a mental health crisis in your family? Then you, you're clear and you understand. Your family, yes or no? I think that you have I some have. issues. I think you have some issues that you city need to deal with beyond uh, the city of Jefferson. Don't Williams. worry about my personal life, man. Listen, I'm offering some of it though. Okay, I'm offering my experience, and I can help your office. And I'm going to be honest with you. Some of your experience, we've been getting contacted about you and your experience, and again, not enough. Well, I'm not, not here, enough I'm because here you are violating well, my First I'm, Amendment, I'm, I'm, Mr. Mr. Ryder. I'm not interested in that information, as I've told those others. You're not interested in, in not way, violating people's rights. Any way that we can help you. I'm giving you the information for a call, but Man, you understand this you is just not, gave me some bullshit. This I haven't even looked at. Okay, I didn't say it needed to be an absolute forum. Well, it's think, a limited public forum. So you need to recognize what the courts. I do. Yes, you do. Do you? So that's why we're giving. I you recognize the what the courts say. The courts say that in that lobby, I can be with this camera. Okay, that's well, the First Amendment. As long, as long I have a right to the press. Information, okay, so. Is there anything we can help you with? Yes. Okay. No, wait. There's something the I can help you with. What, what is that, sir? You're well I can help you understand a procedure that is available in Clark County to mental health crisis calls. Okay, based upon what you're saying, you know that you're all you're doing is dispensing alleged information of what you, you don't know facts. Based trying to on. help you. Uh, you know, it's just, it's pretty sad that you have this point of view and this platform that you're trying to dispense and you're trying to mislead people. Uh, and I, I'm not I, misleading not, anybody. I'm trying to help you. Uh, you're misleading people. But you're making, I haven't even but disseminated but you're, but anything that money. wasn't already publicized but by making, you. But you're making money off of I'm not making money. What kind of money do you think so YouTube that's, pays, bro? That's, that's quite Dude, I'm spending money. You know why? Because of what my experiences are. I want to help the public, and I want to help you, and I want you to help the public. I want you to do your job. I recognize that you and your fan base, you know, there's a fan great value. I don't have fans. I have supporters. You know? Right? You know what I have? I have a collection of people who have read and understood their constitutional rights. Yes, sir. Do you have any other business here, Mr. Ryder? What are you interrupting you for? Any other business? How about you not interrupt? I was talking to the chief. Well within my rights. You want to tell him quit interrupting us? We mean no. You don't have a say in what your chief tells so you to do. You want to make an appointment and come back and speak with us, sir? Okay, we're done. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. And then you come out you here. Have an, you have an appointment. And what? So we have your contact information. Put your hands on me, sir. You just can't film in the lobby. Yeah, I can. Policy. Yeah, I can. Okay. Can I be in the lobby? Well, Absolutely. Gonna, if you need to conduct so if I turn business. my camera off, can I go in that lobby? You can be in there and conduct official business. I can. Absolutely. According oh, to the imagine policy, that. Yeah. Well, then I can go in my camera. First Amendment. 
You can tell Kenny Kavanaugh is looking to pursue a future in politics after he's done being a police chief with the way he redirects attention and fails to answer questions regarding the fact that his officers just took a sick man's life. I don't know about you, but I find this kind of behavior to be repulsive because it's fabricated. It's a personality of a man hidden behind a badge and image with the reward of a salary. I think you have to recognize again what the courts are ruling about an absolute forum and what you're trying to do and what you're trying to dictate. No, no, no. no. So you need I, to understand I, what a I, limited I, public forum is. When you make restrictions beyond beyond walls, beyond doors, beyond signage that's posted with a statute or an ordinance, that's where you can't have me with my camera. Actually coming out you get to make this as we can have. You haven't even heard what I got to offer you. What's an EDO? So, I, I What's think an EDO, Kenny? I, I think that you're trying to create a, 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 a man. visible This guy's hopeless. A visible, a visible base you're so fucking hopeless, Kenny. What you're doing, so you're hopeless. hopeless. Do you do? Why do you not you care? You just a vet, man. Your people just a vet. Why do you not want to learn something that you might have been able to do all, differently? Facts, Hold this, Jeff, please. Please what? take that information and please take the information if you would. And, and the screw that. Look, you're not going to violate my rights. Yeah. I'm mad. You know what respect means? Whenever someone gives you something, you're supposed to give it back the same way. No, you know what? You're violating my rights. No one here uses profanity. Okay. Do you want? We don't use profanity you towards you. So please not do profanity. That so you think okay. just because I use profanity? Well, Once you're, again, you're just being first aggressive. Amendment. You're being angry, and, and and again, you're not having your way, and you're not in the environment of it. So. This is aggressive and angry. It's covered under the First Amendment, freedom yes, of speech. Yes, sir. Character okay. and character is everything, absolutely. absolutely. Right, absolutely. but you know what? I didn't cuss until you said, get out of here. You can't yeah, I, film. I, I didn't say get out your, of here. Your I First you, Amendment doesn't matter you, to me. Yeah, I asked you, did you take the information of what you actually had? Right, and that's did all you're concerned with is trying to kick me out. I just but here I am. Reason, and you should have time. You're to making yourself about. look bad, man. Uh, well, according to you and your base. And but you're doing it, though. According to you and your My base. base supports officers that do the right thing. Your really? base supports yes. all the right You know thing. what we get from your base and your supporters? They, they call in here 400 times a day, <laughs> calling call on these people, these women up here. They're trying to do their jobs, mm -hmm. names. The names Karen. like what? Oh, I, I'm not even going to repeat this No, stuff. please, let, let me I'll know. send it to you, Chris. Okay, I'll do that. You, I would, I'll definitely work with you guys. And I've apologized to you before. I can't control what other people well, do and say. Again. No, 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 no. You can. You, no, people, you are creating it. Talking big and Look, tough on the other the phone, let me tell you yelling. something. Look, and, 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 I, I don't condone. I would never address you that way. Yeah, I've been McVoy, I do not condone. I would, I would never call you randomly and just start cussing okay, and caring. Randomly? They're not random. It's after my videos are posted, right? It is. But, it, 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 honestly, but what are you doing in the video? It's the character of the way the person is in the individual. You know what character they're worried about? They want the character of their chief of police acting in a way that's constitutionally respectful. That's what they want, Kenny. That, that's what the claim is. You don't know. That's, you that's kick me out of here with my camera. How do you think you're going to look? Recognize we're not, we're not an absolute forum, and you need to do further research. It doesn't matter if you're an absolute you, forum. You, Did you I go know. behind closed, restricted area public. doors? Uh, you're trying to create a distraction. Look, your officer hey, killed a vet. Relax, relax, your relax, officer's relax. a vet. I'm, you're, look, you're, you're look, he says I'm hostile. I'm literally leaning on a pole. I'm leaning on a pole, okay. hostile threat. Would, if on you learned you're trying, something. You're trying to disseminate the information. You're trying to create you're a basis for you're a platform. Wrong. You don't want to hear that, but you're wrong. You're trying you to get in. You're you trying to be I was trying to be in between on that. I was trying to be non-biased. What you're trying to be is wrong. Yes, you are. You're wrong. Do you know what an EDO is? Do you know what an EDO is? Yes, I know. What is it? I know exactly what it is. I'm not going to debate semantics. It's three letters. Come on. Semantics. Jesus Christ. It's a procedure. It's a procedure that's available here in Clark County. You, what I can tell you, Chris, is yep. you're a good guy, but you're wrong. And you don't what am I wrong about, about McVoy? What am I wrong about? Have a great day. What am I wrong about? An EDO. Hey, what is an EDO? Sure, you, don't guy, you don't know what an EDO is, McVoy. That's not good, bro. You guys could have saved that man by holding him for 72 hours. Kenny is sexist. He completely ignored me because I'm a female. Alright, that's going to do it for this interaction. Let me know your thoughts below in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And do me a favor, go subscribe to For Public Safety and Official Misconduct and let them know I sent you over. This isn't the last time you'll be seeing Kenny Cavanaugh on my channel. I'll be sharing another interaction regarding him in a future video, so stay tuned. As always, thank you for watching San Joaquin Audits. I'll be back with another video soon.